What's going on guys? So we're going to do a little bit of a video because the fishing sucks right now. Um, it's been in the 80s, now it's in the 30s, and it's been spent snow most of the day today. Um, fish has just been terrible around here. Uh, the fish are so confused, they don't know what to do. Um, it took five pounds to win a tournament between three fish last Thursday. Um, but it's just... So... We're going to do a requested video. Uh, a lot of you guys have been messaging me or m posting some comments in, on my Instagram saying, hey, uh, when are you going to do a kayak review? Or when are you going to uh, show us your bona fide, how you got it rigged up? All right, well, we got it rigged up. I got it rigged up exactly how I want it now. Um, so we're going to go over that. We're going to go over the, the bona fide. Sorry if the lighting is terrible in here. It's dark outside and i just now got my camera to actually focus a little bit i think and uh yeah let's brighten that up a little bit and um yeah so hopefully hopefully the camera's in focus now um and we will we'll go over to kayak so let's go over to kayak from back to front so it's 2018 model bonafide ss 127 and there she is i got her rigged up how I want it. Uh, I got the cameras rigged up on here. I'll show you how I got the cameras rigged. Uh, show you how I store stuff and uh, and so forth. So let's go over it. You guys saw where I focused, where I put the uh, Visi Pro Carbon on, and um, so that's where that's going to be. It's to the left of the bow. That way I don't hit it when I'm casting with my right hand. Uh, I've got the Yellow Tech or the Yellow Tech. Yeah, I've got the Yellow Tech Power Box. With the power stick and i've got a light up there and what i use this light for is uh, night fishing basically and it lights up the room pretty bright so um and then i can i can raise it i can raise it lower it but uh, basically that's going to be from night fishing and then i've got um that's how i'm powering up my camera on the uh, yak attack pole and I've got it rigged up with a um, uh, cigarette lighter and I got the cable ran through here and then up the shaft and it plugs into the camera and the reason why I don't have it on the double barrel uh, mount is because I got I got my rod holders and so my rods go straight up and they're in the camera view and so that's why I just elected to put this on right here above or in front of the of the rod so the camera doesn't get the rods in the shot so i could carry five rods with me three in the middle two on the sides uh, i got the yakitec uh, black pack and that's how i have my tackle in there i got my buff my gloves um some rod floats down in there and uh, that's how i have my tackle I have all my tackle boxes in there. Swim baits and, and buzz toads uh, right here in the plastic. Uh, all other uh, plastics over there like worms and sinkos and so forth. And then in this box right here is just a bunch of random soft plastics that I didn't have bags for. The original bags for, so stick those right there. Uh, this right here is where I keep my cell phone, my keys, my wallet, uh, Sharpie, stuff like that. I write my identifier in my hand. That sets it down there. It's perfect. And uh, when summer around gets, when summer gets here, I'll probably go to a smaller uh, box. That way, I can put a small cooler back here. Probably move the black pack back a little bit more and put a cooler right there. Uh, so I got the uh, um, my my. A hog trough right there in the seat now I don't transport it there but that's how I have it when I'm fishing I got a first aid kit here strapped to in a waterproof box strapped to the back of the seat and then uh, of course you got my life jacket and then I showed you the cameras uh, there's there's that it's a session 5 I got the um, dead cat uh, shotgun mic up there and I've got it in um, in uh, linear mode so therefore it don't get the dead cat in the shot it's it's not a wide angle 
that I've got that set up like, and I've got it powered um, with a, a portable power box, and I'm actually going to zip tie that to there. That way it stays put. Got my Bluetooth speaker. Uh, got to have my tunes when I'm out there on the water. So I have both cameras on looping mode, and I use them. I, I use the the remote for both cameras, and that way I can stop and start them, and um, I can match up the audio. You know, the audio from this camera to the video of that camera, and and so forth. I don't have to buy an expensive uh, external uh, wireless mic for uh, something like that. Uh, of course, I've got the fish grips in here i've got it um clipped to the, to the handle there and that way i can throw the fish off the side if i'm in a school of fish i can catch i can catch one throw it off the side catch another one and i can take two pictures uh two different fish and then go back to fishing uh i got my got a marker buoy plug knocker bunch of random baits down there uh pliers jj's magic uh mag draft Man, that's, I can't wait to use that in a couple weeks. Just a random jerk bait. Uh, I got the anchor wizard, and I've got a two pound anchor right there. And uh, that way I can stay put. And this right here is pretty cool, uh, how I got this mounted up. So I originally had the fish finder up here, and I noticed I was sitting too far back from it. And so I said, okay, well, I'm gonna move it up here, mount it to the box itself, and then I can use this adjustment and I can I can move this up here closer if I wanted to. So I've got the Lawrence uh, Hook 5 with GPS, down scan, and, and sonar. No side scan. I don't see the point in having side scan um, in a kayak, so I don't I don't use that. So I just use down scan the sonar. Uh, got the transducer. Let me show y'all how I have this. I know somebody's gonna ask, but the transducer's right there. I got it mounted to the bottom. And uh, everything's all together. There's a battery inside there. Let me show y'all that. Got the battery down in there just like so. And uh, all the cables. And uh, that's how that's mounted in there. Uh, of course, I got my net. It's a floating net, so I don't have to worry about losing it. Um, so I keep that right there when I'm fishing. And then I got my park pole uh, from Yak Attack. And basically, I'll just take that, pop out one of these scupper plugs, pop out one of these scupper plugs, and anchor myself down uh, with the uh, with the park pole, and then. Uh, if I need to uh, keep myself really positioned, then I'll just lower the the anchor wizard. But uh, yeah, that's the kayak. Uh, so far, I enjoy it. It's very stable. I uh, really enjoy using it. And uh, of course, Frontier Outdoors is where I got it at. Oh yeah, and uh, here's another thing too that I'm liking about, about the Bonafide. Is that right there? I can put all my rods down in there and uh, take them with me. No more cluttering up my front seat. Oh, and the paddle. Let me show you all the paddle. Uh, here's the paddle that I'm using. It's the Bending Branches Angler Ace. Uh, again, got it at Frontier Outdoors as well. So uh, that's the paddle that I use. So anyway, guys, that's the that's the kayak, uh, the Bonafide SS127. I've been extremely happy with it so far. Uh, it's, it's extremely stable. It paddles good. It tracks good. The only thing that I that I've noticed that I don't like about it is when I'm in high winds, that back area right there acts as a sail and it pushes me all over the place. So I'm gonna have to get a power pole on the very back. Uh, those are a little expensive. So I'm gonna have to, it'll be a while before I get one of those. Um, but I think once I get a power pole in the back of it, I'll be just fine. 
uh, and that way I could be anchored off the back and the front and I uh, shouldn't have no more issues but uh, anyway thanks to my newest sponsor Frontier Outdoors I actually got a second kayak and uh, they've given me a native Slayer Propel uh, 13 so it's a pedal drive kayak uh, I fished out of it one time so far uh, during the night tournament and I can tell you it's not as stable as the Bodified but it is a pedal drive and it will work for what I need it for so they were kind enough to loan me that for the for the year and um, anyway so we're gonna try it out I'm gonna rig it up and uh, uh, get it get it ready for the rest of the year guys I appreciate you watching seriously if you like the video hit the thumbs up for me uh, that really helps me out a lot when you guys hit the thumbs up uh, or thumbs down I mean you know it don't really help me out a lot when you hit the thumbs down but if you hit the thumbs up it definitely helps me out um, leave a comment down in the comment section for any questions comments or what have you um, again I appreciate you guys watching you guys are great and we will see you next time